Now, what are the pathophysiology to this home to to OV? That means what are the conditions? What are the things that can go wrong? Now, please. So, well, the different there are lot of conditions that can be associated with with um, OV, but the one that are very common and that are are really prevalent in OV are these ovarian cyst, polycystic ovarian syndrome. That's commonly called PCOS, which I, I think a lot of people knows what that means. Ovarian tumor, which can be malignant or it can be benign. The ovarian torsion and ovarian failure. All right. So the first guy on the list is ovarian cyst. This is quite common, and this happens normally when um, there is um, the, the 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 follicles. You know, we saw in other video how the follicles grow. Then for some reason, the follicle gets filled up with fluid and um, they fail to rupture. Normally, after some day 14 in every cycle, it should release its egg, release its egg. But for some conditions, which we may not go into that detail here, um, it can, the, the follicle will refuse to release its egg and it will keep growing. And it also happen because there's no enough hormone because normally the hormone that makes it to release is when there's a surge in the uh, luteinizing hormone coming from the pituitary gland. But if the hormone is too low or there's too much of estrogen, it can there can be an issue, so to say. So these are some of the factors that can cause it. It's not the only thing, really, to be told. So the ovarian simply means that there is the follicle refuses to rupture and it can be so bad that the whole ovary will be inflamed. I mean, it's going to really, really swell up and sometimes the ovary might be removed, sincerely speaking. And one of the most common symptoms is that uh, the pain will be felt around the pelvic region. So look at this here, please. All eyes here, please. So depending on whether it is right ovary or left ovary, uh, that's where you feel the pain here because the if if I was going to draw that the 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 the, the reproductive system of the female is like around there so you see no I didn't draw that very well so it's supposed to be somewhere here then that's where the fallopian tube is so the ovary is somewhere here the ovary is somewhere here like that so you have all of these structures there so to say sorry I didn't draw very well but the other was showing where the ovary is so the pain is usually felt around this. Uh, pelvic region towards this um, um, lower quadrat here, depending on if it is right ovary or left ovary. Since we are two ovaries, that's why. Anyways, medical student will be familiar with all these quadrats, what it means. So you can, well, you can learn this if you want to, really. So you feel pain. What this is saying is that you feel pain of different organs on this part of the body. That's what that means, all right? But like I told you, always seek for medical advice. The other thing that can cause the same pain. So, by the time you seek medical advice, you do some scan. The scan, or if it's ultrasound, as the case may be, will show you what is really wrong. That's why you need, you don't just guess. All right? So, this is the most common symptom. There's always pelvic pain, bloating, and irregular menstrual cycle, and all of that, so to say. So, this is an example of um, an, uh, an, an harvested um, ovary and uh, I mean, this whole thing, the, the whole ovary and the, the, uh, the, 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 the follicle caused the ovary to swell, I mean, to get inflamed, and the whole ovary was removed. It's, 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 it's possible, really. It could be so bad that the whole ovary will be removed, yes, to, because it's been there for long and maybe it was ignored for a long time, so to say. So that's a bit of ovarian cyst. The follicles usually didn't get ruptured and that can be due to a lot of factors so to say the next guy which is i i, I may consider that one of the most common issues is polycystic ovarian ovarian syndrome ovary cyst so to say um, syndrome so to say which means that people um tend to have a bit of um, hormonal issues it's not supposed to be a challenge people have it and they're still fine but just that it might it delay a bit of um what's it called um reproduction in in such a female they might they, because of the irregularities in their menstrual cycle they tend to um have a delayed um reproduction now let me say this here 
I don't know. People don't sometimes know that females also have male hormone, which means you have all the androgens like testosterone and the likes. Now, as a matter of fact, it is that androgen that allows us, male and female, to have hair. Like, to have hair. Yeah, all of this hair you're saying. Yeah. So, if in, in people that have PCOS, usually their level of the male hormone might be a bit higher than normal. For that reason, it will suppress their normal feminine features. Some of them will end up having some hair they don't they should not have some of them will have some rapid weight some of them will be a bit muscular so to say it comes in different ways there's there's no uh there's a common thing to all of, of the, the pcos cases but it, it, the severity varies based on the level of the um, hormonal imbalance so to say so basically it is caused by a lot of factors i mean it's it's, it's multifactorial in nature so you don't just um that's why when you seek medical advice, you'll be told, the, 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 the patient will be told what needs to be done based on the diagnosis. So that's why it's always good to, to you don't just um, read and just take decisions. You just have to be sure because different bodies have different reactions, so to say, to this same thing. All right, because some factors will make the hormone to either go down or go up as the case may be please pause the video here if you're a student to read this and um now someone might also have some features like having hair and doesn't mean they have pcos so doing just my there was a time a student sometimes ago saw somebody with something i said in class and felt that oh this person has this disease no he does okay basically i was talking about goita and this person saw someone that had just a bit of a fat neck. And this student felt like this person has goita. No, it doesn't always work that way. There has, to, there has to be some other investigations to be done to ascertain that. All right. Then ovarian tumor. I know this is scary. This was a tumor taken from someone from the ovary. So this is when the ovary becomes really 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 inflamed you know when we say something is a tumor that means abnormal uh, abnormal growth of cells so the ovary becomes i mean this is this is serious when i was preparing this lecture i dare not put every video, every picture i saw here you, you, you might get you might freak out but i'm sorry if this is freaking you out anyways so it's it could be that if it is not cancerous, that means it's not it doesn't spread like this. In this case, it's benign, so you just take it out. But sometimes it can spread, that's it's malignant. So it literally goes to other part of the body, which may not be so nice. So it's just because there's um, abnormal anytime you hear the word cancerous or tumor, it means there's abnormal cell growth. There's a way cells are meant to reproduce, but when the cell grow faster than they, they should, and that usually happens because something is, is wrong with the instruction coming from the genetic material of that cell. And that usually leads to abnormal cell growth, so to say. So um, it's just majorly, it, it's, it's the most common one is usually um, benign, not the, the malignant type, so to say. So you can pause the video here, write these things down if you're a student. Like I said, uh, I don't want to explain everything because of time. I mean, we we'll still have other topics to look at this, really. Then I think the last guy on the list should be, no, ovarian torsion well if you look at here there's something i call the round ligament when i was labeling in the other video in that round ligament you have the blood vessel that supplies the ovary that because ovary contains follicle and it's a living organ structure as it were so it happens when the there's a twist of its own blood supply so when you say torsion torsion has to be there's a twist and for that reason if you if you cut off the blood supply to any organ that will make the organ um to lose um its blood supply lose oxygen lose glucose and it becomes um ischemic basically that means it, it will start dying that's what it means so um and usually what usually make it to, this to happen is when the ovary is enlarged so because of the way it's enlarged it makes it to rotate. So as the ovary rotates, 
it's it, 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 um, it, it twists can you see what happened here it twists the um what's it called the the blood vessel and for that reason it will destroy the egg the follicle and everything the ovary as time goes on that's what he says this can lead to his came which means what lack of blood supply and subsequent tissue damage so now uh uh what was i gonna say, say here okay usually okay it can also be okay twist another yeah basically it like i said earlier on it's because there's a, a the, the ovary is big um there's a there's a cyst or a tumor in the ovary so it's made it to twist or rotate then blood supply is cut off so usually the 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 way out is get rid of these then this might go back to normal if it has not happened for so long so to say this i only mentioned this these are serious serious medical conditions like very serious medical condition but usually it doesn't the effect is not felt immediately i'm not sure how long it takes for people to feel the effect of when this thing twists but it's always good to once there's an issue you're feeling some abnormal pain abdominal pain in the abdomen uh so to say just quickly seek out for medical advice as soon as possible that's always my advice for people all right then the last guy on the list is called ovarian failure well this basically just talks about um when the ovary um stops working as ovary what does that mean all the function of the ovary ceases before a woman clocks 40 because menopause is meant to start around 45 50 even though some people still have their men menstrual cycle continue to their 60 yeah but averages are towards late 50. so if that be the case um that means that the moment there's ovarian failure then that means that no egg no hormone so the the, the 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 person literally stops reproducing very early and that may not be so nice so there are a lot of factors um that leads to it it could be because of genetic factor it is inherited it could be that the person has some auto autoimmune disease that destroys the ovary ovarian functions early or infections or the person is exposed to chemotherapy or radiotherapy radiation therapy so all of these things can affect um, the onset of some of these conditions as the case may be. Hope this made sense. So please remember to um, like and share this to your loved ones. So we'll be back in the next video. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.